There was a lot of fog, but I saw the car for a minute before it hit me. Santana, maybe you better wait outside. Why, what's the harm? This is a police matter. No, no, it's okay, Chris. She can stay. Right? So, uh, you saw the car? Yeah. Can you describe it? Did you, uh, recognize the make? Well, it was kind of blurry, but I knew it was a sedan. I'm sure of that. Well, that hardly narrows it down. What color was it? Oh, I'm not sure. Well, was it dark or light? It was dark. It was, it was a dark sedan. But you know, there was something really familiar about it. It was like, I know the car. I've, I've, I've seen that car. I'm sure I've seen it before. Tail lights when it pulled away? Were they unusually shaped or marked or anything? Well, they were a kind of big, squarish. Probably recent make, that's how they make them out. How about the inside of the car? Was there just a driver in there or did you see a passenger or passengers? Oh, I don't know. I I do only remember hearing one car door slam. What do you mean they actually stopped the car and got out? Well, I, I don't know. I assume so. I don't remember seeing anybody. I don't know why I, I just kept going in and out. The last thing I remember is the car just pulling away. Well, if they stopped the car, they must have known they hit you or something. And if they actually got out, then they would have seen you lying there on the road. And they just drove away. Who on earth would do something like that? Well, whoever it was, I hope to hell we can find them. Sorry, I can't be more help. <sighs> I hardly think you have to apologize, darling. This wasn't your fault. He's right, Eve. I guess that's it for now. I'll ask some more questions later if I can think of anything. Okay. I think you better get some sleep. Right. Um, I agree. Just take care of yourself. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for coming. I'll be back in a few minutes, but I'm not taking a step out of this hospital until you're asleep. Okay, Marla. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you remember anything at all, no matter how insignificant it might seem or what time of night it is, you call me, okay? I will. Thank God you're all right. I was really worried about you. I hate to see what I did to that car. <laughs> you always told me you were tough. If you're not careful, I'm going to have to start believing you. Well, I better call this in. Thanks for being here. See anything, so I left. That's when I got hit, thanks to you. What do you mean, thanks to me? You're the one who sent me out there. I'm standing around. Where were you? Where were you tonight? Look, I don't like what you're insinuating, Eden. Well, you were the only one who knew I was out there. You always said you'd get back at me. Wait a minute. That's before we started understanding one another. Wouldn't go too far. You know I would never do that to you. Yeah, Daddy might disagree. Eden, you know why I sent you out there. It's okay, Gina, forget it. What do you mean, forget it? You just accused me of running it's you down. Okay, forget it. I'm sorry I even said anything. I wonder who did run you down. Probably some drunk or some kid who got scared. This hasn't been our day, has it? Why? Somebody try to kill you, too? No. I mean, our plan didn't work. We try to ruin one little marriage, not a very good one at that, and look what happens. I'll probably never get Brandon back at this rate. If Santana is cheating on Cruz, you'll find out about it, Gina. Brandon will probably be collecting Social Security by then. Yeah, well, I guess we'll never know if Keith and Santana were really out there together, will we? Apparently, they weren't. They weren't? Keith told me they checked into a motel. So I called up and checked with the desk clerk. He said they were there. That's what he told me, anyway. They were at a hotel? And worse news, apparently they broke up tonight. That means we can't use them to break up Cruz and Santana. It's been a rotten day all the way around. My niece is treating me like a disease. My son is being raised by an unfit mother. And all of America's on a health kick. They aren't buying cookies. They're trying to kick the cookie habit. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. But I only have an electric oven. I mean, take a nice hot bath. After all, Scarlet, tomorrow is another day. You're right. Maybe I'll try that. What 
does she want? She was asking me how I was. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't believe anything at this point. Oh. I didn't want to press you in front of everyone else, but uh, what were you doing up there? I was taking a walk. Why Inspiration Point? I like it. I think it's beautiful up there. Yeah. Well, I gotta ask you, is there any reason to think you might have been hit on purpose? You don't waste any time, do you? No, the doctor said I could rest just as well at home. Brick and Mom are waiting for me. Want some help with that? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm really sore. You know, you remind me of Lois Lane sometimes. You always seem to find trouble <laughs> wherever you go. And where were you tonight when I really needed you, huh? Well, I think I left my cape at the cleaners. I must be slipping. Oh, you can't be everywhere. Are you familiar with the concept of zippers? It's a great advancement in human relations. <laughs> Thank Just you. Just a second. There. Ow, my hair. I'm sorry. So, uh, you want to tell me what you're really doing out there tonight? I told you I was just walking. It sounded like it might have been something you didn't want to say in front of uh, the other people. No. Congratulations. I hear there's a spring in you. Uh, no. Uh, not exactly. Uh, the doctor was just in here a second ago and, uh, didn't like the looks of one of her x-rays. He's asked her to stay overnight for, uh, observation. And I'd like to post a guard outside this room. Are you sure that's necessary? I'd like to err on the side of safety if it's all the same to you, man. I mean, she was, like, in some dangerous situations in Mexico, what, two weeks ago, you know? You're right. Now, listen, now, you want me to send a man over? I'll... No, I'll handle it. Well, I, uh, I guess you got dressed a little early, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of her. Maybe something. A woman with no ID was driving under the influence and we picked her up near the scene of the hit and run. All right, that could be... Her car matches the basic description you gave us. You go to the police station? Listen, I'll go with you. No, thanks, Keith. I'd rather uh, you went alone. I have a few loose ends to type around here. Oh, well, I'll say good night then. You have sweet dreams. Thanks. Be in touch. Yeah. Listen, would you mind stepping outside for a little while, please? Thank you. What is it you exactly had in mind? Well, not what you're smiling about. <gasps> oh, you really know how to hurt a girl. You know, I may, uh, forgive me, maybe I'm a little too amazed that you keep going along with me like this. About what? Well, about that guard. I mean, I thought you were going to give me all kinds of flack about that. You make me sound attractive sometimes. Well, and, and about staying here instead of going home tonight? Well, that I'm not too crazy about. I mean, do you really think it's necessary? Well, I don't think it's enough, actually. I want to put you someplace where nobody knows you'll be. How'd you like to take a little trip? To where? How about I tell you on the way? Are you willing to leave right now? All right. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Where's the argument? Well, I'm not going to argue with you. I like going places with you. See, this will teach you. Sometimes I let you tell me exactly what to do. I don't believe this. This is twice in one night. Not a word. Not, not, not one word. This has got to be some kind of record. <sighs> Uh, it's on the Thanks for driving me. It's all part of the service, ma'am. It's saying goodbye to you. It won't be for long. I guess there are worse places to hide out in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? I wouldn't. I'll call your family and uh, tell them you're safe. Would you tell Mama I want to work on the wedding as soon as I get back? Yes, I will. And, and remember, don't call anybody until I call you first. We don't want anybody to find out where you are. Thanks. 
You see how easy life can be? Watch how much I can do for you if you just cooperate. You know, you're mistaking me for a pushover. <laughs> yeah, but it was too good to be true. I'll be in touch. You, you should be getting home. Yeah. Bye, Cruz.